Ooh, just move my chair in, sorry. Come back to show you these Black Widow pencils. Thought we'd uh, swatch them together. Ooh, put my teeth back in. That's a beautiful picture on the top. Black Widow wax coloured pencils, 24 piece. And this is in a series of three. I'm not sure which ones come first. This one says it's number, this is the second one, but there is a um, spider one with a spider on the front and one with a snake on the front. So which is which, I'm not sure. But I say they're all the same price, 11 77 on Amazon at the moment. But <clears throat> they got a limited deal on it for these ones and the ones with the spider on the front for £9.9p for a limited time deal. Which is why I got this one, because I got it for £9.9p. So I'm going to see what these are and then that will decide whether I get any more. And in the lid it tells you the colour names and they've got a swatch there. But I always like to swatch my own so I can realistic colour. Because it doesn't show whether that's hard pressed or light pressed or whatever. So now we've got to get into them. Are you impressed with that? My little tiny nail. <laughs> Sorry about the crinkling. How's everybody's day? Is it alright? Oh look. Can you see how they're flung up? Right, let's have a look at them. Oh, we'll get that one up as soon as these come up. So, they've got the colour name on them. SC49, so that must be, is that SE49? Or SC? SE? What do you think? Yeah, SE, isn't it? Hmm, 49, and that's from the Scorpion range. And it's, uh, what do you call it, barrel when they're all like, got these on them? I can't remember. But it's nice to hold, whichever way you hold it. And it's a sealed, been dipped end, so there's no end showing. And can you see the ends? So they're quite sharpened on the ends. Should we get a bright colour out? Should we get that orange out? So this is the burnt orange S whatever 99 scorpion. I've got glasses on but I told you I've got, I've got to have new ones. Let me see, does it say on you? I'm I don't know if it's a fancy C or an E. Somebody let me know down the bottom please. <laughs> Let, let Thicko Caroline know, please, what it is. So, right. So, we just, should we just go for it? Should we just, should we just swatch them and see what happens? So, this is pastel purple. So, we want a pen, don't we? Have we got a pen handy? Oh, right. pastel purple. Oh, I just sat on the light thing. Did you see that then? I don't know if it makes much difference. Does that make any difference, do you think? Right, so we've got pastel purple. So I'm going to press quite hard there. Ooh, they're very creamy compared to the... And then I'm going to do a thick into a very thin line there. Can you see that? So we'll wipe that down. Pastel purple. I might change these around and put them into better order and get some more. This one is going to, do you want to come in a bit, can I give you a bit closer? So you can see that one, oops, deep purple, number 53 scorpion. Now I did start biting the numbers on here because on my Arteza the name of the pencil, oh, sorry, the name of the pencil came rubbed off, but I'd still got the number. So I thought, oh, look at that. Into a thin, and that's deep purple. I don't know whether I like this one. Would that one be better? 
Hang on, I'm going to scrap them. I don't want like them ones. I'm going to go back to this one. I like these. Let me do that again. I know I'm being a pain in the butt, but I can't help it. It's my little name. So we're going to do a thick line and then into a thin a thin paper underneath because it's picking up the grain of the table. We'll get going in a minute, won't we? So that is pastel purple and that's O2. And then and a thin deep purple. I mean these swatches are only for me. They're not for anybody else. Well and the girls obviously, but um burgundy. Ooh, that's a nice burgundy. That's nice and rich. Can you see that? Can you see them alright? I'm giving a bit closer. I know you can't see when I swatch it because I haven't got the angle probably. Burgundy 77. I'm not the neatest of people, I must admit. We have brown, brown bug. Okay, if I hold it like that, can you see if I do it like that? So that's a bit of pressure and then easing off the pressure into the brown brown bug that's quite a nice name brown bug brown bug that's number 15. this is a dark tan going into lighter so dark Tan, and that's number 18. Hang on, let me just turn you off. Somebody's coming in. Sorry, that's my oldest going out. We're on charcoal green. Oop. Looks like um that does look like a grey green. Oops, can you see that one? Somebody's car alarm's going off. Charcoal green, 49. We have green grass next. Oh, you can't see, can you, from up there? Green grass. It even shakes when I think can do that, doesn't it? Green grass, 82. See, even writing shakes my camera. I can't win. Can I win? Galaxy blue. Ooh, that's a nice one. Number 11. Blood red. Ooh, that is a red and a half. Look at that. That is burnt orange. It's very bright, aren't they? Can you see that one? Honeycomb. It's very pale that one, isn't it? Dark chocolate. That's quite crumbly that one look can you see can you see all the bits that have come off it on there see that one's quite crumbly dark 
That's the dog going up and down the hallway. She had a groomers yesterday, so she is now half the dog that she was. Bless her. Lime fruit. Ooh, it's a nice lime colour. That is like lime. And we have pig's ear. I like the, like the sound of that one. Pig's ear. What I might do is put them in colour codes. Just do this roughly and then decide how I'm going to put them in the tins. And then um, go from there. And then I might re-swatch them in colour order as well. Which I did with my Arte Arteza. And... Thirty-eight. Some lovely colours though. Delicious pink. And that is a delicious colour pink. And that one is Blue Heaven. That's a lovely blue. Oop. A few more. Ker girl, pastel lemon. This one is. Pastel lemon, number seventy-four. What was that last one? I didn't put the number. Fifty-one. Six more to go. Get into them. That is grub green. That's a nice green as well. Be nice on a leaf. Grub green ninety-three. Blue horizon. Can you see it over there? Near a kite out there making a the right ding dong. Oh, I can't spell. Four more. Irish green. That's a nice green as well. It's very vibrant, isn't it? Irish green. One forty-five. Turquoise. I like turquoise. Turquoise and teal. Thirty. Yellow sand. And last but certainly not least, what have we got? Olive green. And that is definitely an olive green look. And that's number 62. So that is um, the scorpion ones. Does it say, tell you much about them? No, it tells you nothing about them on there. Let me have a look. So if we click on it online, so we've got Amazon. Right, what does the description say? Can you go into description? They don't have a description somewhere, aren't they? Is it further down? Technical details. Product dimensions 15 by 15 by 1 centimeter, and that means zero to me. Well, it gets four and four and a half stars, so that's pretty good, isn't it? It says professional quality, perfect for adult coloring, easy to sharpen, easy to overlay color, strong core prevents breakages, 
point stay sharp, soft core, 3.3 millimeter lead and 12 months warranty. And the comments are, those pe pencils are awesome. Very bright and colorful and need not much pressure. Really a favorite of mine. Somebody else says, nice crayons, good selection of colors and sharpens well. Very quick delivery. Somebody else says, these coloring pencils are absolutely marvelous. Very good color, I use them a lot. Well, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Got a feeling that I might, might, might order. So can you see them colours? Sorry I'm not a brilliant camera woman, but hey-ho. But aren't they lovely? They're really, really nice. Should we get a bit of a colouring thing out and just get a... Put that there a minute and get this one. I did start, Jessie picked one for me to do I told her to just go in and pick, was it this one? No it wasn't this book was it? It was this one. It was this book that she picked it out of. There it is. Um, can you see how I can tell? Let me come back out again. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. Jessie picked it and I have started it. So what I'll do is get a bit of green on these leaves. So I'll have a bit of green grass. And a bit of olive green. And what have we got? Olive green. Green grass. I'm trying to look on that thing to see where the olive green is. Olive green, green grass and a bit colour of maybe a bit of Irish green. Where's the Irish green? Charcoal green, green grass. Oh, there's Irish green. Should we try them? Should we try them? Should we see? Should we see? Go on then. I don't know if these leaves are supposed to be green colour. Can you see that at all? Yeah. I tell you what, they don't have to go on nice. Put a bit of light in there. Do you know what? These are lovely. You don't need a lot of pressure to get the colours. I can't remember which is the darker. I will do a bit of olive green. Let's see if it blends on the top, which it does. So you can layer. That's a bit bright there. And that's uh, layering with the green. So I'm dead chuffed with that. Shall we try... Um, what colour is this one? Pastel purple. And a deep purple, so go from one extreme to another. Should we do that little flowers there? Put a bit of dark down the bottom. A little bit on the tops. Can you see that? There, and then I'm going to... And the two together. And put a little bit more dark down the bottom. And then you've got little, oops, can you see? So yeah, I like them so far. So yeah, give them a go, see what you think.
as I say, for the money I didn't think they were bad for 24 pencils. So I'm going to, I think, get a drink and carry on doing this. And I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Look after yourselves. And if you want to leave a comment, great. Much appreciated. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Bye.